Hello everyone, I'm Darth Trogo and today I am going to be talking about the cube bayism story. I recently started Let's Play on my channel. If you haven't watched that, you should check it out. And I'm going to just go into detail a bit more about what cube bayism actually is and the story of it. So we're going to start with the story, alright? And of course, I'm going to read it out because a lot of you probably don't like reading. In the time before, there were three siblings Rocky, Terry, Terre, and Net. They were bored with all that they had in their own dimension. So, pooling together their powers, they decided to create a world to entertain them. Rocky acted first, cutting off his finger and using it to build the bedrock core of the world. Then cutting off the rest of his arm, he layered the world in smooth stone. That's stone, by the way. G gathering his remaining energy, he struck the world as hard as he could with his right arm. The force of the blow created massive amounts of pressure, causing diamonds, gold, iron and coal to form at different layers of the world. The resulting earthquakes created great chasms and cave openings leading deep into the earth. Terry looking upon Rocky's work said, It's a good start, but it's hard and cold. This world needs beauty and softness as well. And with that she hang on it. <coughs> and with that she reached down and picked up chunks of smooth stone and ate them, chewing and melding them with her delicate tongue, she turned the stone to dirt and spat it back out, covering the world. Then she ran her hand over it and layered the dirt with grass, short and tall. With great care, she pushed four of her fingers into the earth, removing each of them one by one from the holes. The first oak, birch, pine and spruce trees were born. She then cut her arm and bled out onto the world, creating the oceans. Net, don't worry about the image, Net, the youngest of the three, was impressed with what the other siblings had done, but he had not yet fully realised his powers and became sad. He shed a tear and it fell onto the world the siblings had created. From the tear, a tiny, I'm not going to say that word because some of you might not like it. Chicken was born. Net was overwhelmed with joy at his creation even though it had zero survival instincts for work and would aimlessly wander off cliffs as often as anything else. He, he still loved it. Over the years as Net further realised his powers he created pigs, sheep, cows, wolves and squids. The other go gods were proud of him and having him develop, decided to teach him how to focus his power. With this, Nets was able to create the first human. I'll get into the picture later. The hu humans of the world prospered and adored their creation creators. Terre and Rocky took shifts to watch the world. Terre's eye was bright like fire and caused all her creations to prosper as she watched them. Rocky's eyes was white and cold, signalling the time for the humans to rest. Many ages passed as the world prospered. Rocky and Terry were f finally content and continued to watch over it. Net, however, became bored and restless again. Using his power, he created the first slime for his amusement. While mostly harmless, the slime had the power to hurt the other beings of the world. When Rocky and Terry looked upon it, they were upset and banished it to only live in the very depths of the world, away from the humans. By the way, just so you know, this story was created before slimes could got the update to spawn in swamps. The infuriated net and he dem this infuriated net and he demanded his siblings allow it his creation room on the surface. The two refused and having seen his siblings make sacrifices to enhance their powers, he did the same. He cut off his ear 
and used it to create the first zombie. Terre and Rocky were unable to banish this creature and it quickly became to decimate the humans that the pair loved so much. Seeing the progress of this monster made him want to create more, so he pulled a bone from his arm to create skeletons and eight of his toes to create the spiders. Terre, seeing Nets grow in insanity, cut out an eye and used it to curse his monsters with fire whenever she looked upon them. Rocky and Terry Ray then turned to Nat, furious with him, and pulled their powers together to banish him to a world of suffering and pain, the Never. In his defiant act before his banishment, Nat tore his heart out and created the mighty Creeper. This creature will stalk the land, immune to the powers of Terry's eye, and would be a great c calamity on the, the world. The humans of the world were wiped out, their structures now overrun with creatures and slowly growing moss. Terre and Rocky turned to one another, and using all their en the energy they had left, they summoned one the final human. Spent for two gods are now only able to take turns passing their eyes across the world, keeping close watch on their last creation. Steve. So. I'm not going to get into that because I guess you can figure out. So, onto the pictures. This is what, you might not be able to see him, but this is what Net looked like when he, he was a baby playing with his creations. This is Terre, who you can see she's made sacrifices on herself. So, like, she's bleeding with wa water. Rocky is emerging from the surface. As you can see, because he lives underground, because he's he created it, and Nat, he, this is him gone completely insane, basically. So, I also did this video to help you decide on which god you wanted me to choose. So I'm also going to go over the gods a little bit as well. So, if I chose Terre, I would be Okay, just had a bit of a bug on the screen there. I would be building out of like planks, logs, fences, natural things basically. I'd only eat like mushroom sh soup, fish, bread, and forest. Whoa! Okay, because um, I accidentally pressed the tab. Uh, foods like mushroom, fish, and bread and apples forestry biomes, leather armor, and I'd be using a bow, and this is the shrine I would have to create, and the challenges would involve, like, building a grove, sacrificing all the mob drops into a piece of water, waiting for them to spawn, um, and we always must have leather armor, that's one time. Rocky, he, I would be using materials like stone, sandstone, gravel, cobblestone, you get the idea, uh, foods as little as possible because I'd be down in the mine all the time, and I'd have iron armour and a diamond sword, oh, I'm lagged out again, why does this keep happening, I still use, okay, Sorry about this, I don't know what's happening. I would be living underground. I would be mining, building the massive traps that only I could get through. And I would have to build this. And if I die during this, it's considered a failure. And I have to do it all over again. So, yeah. And Nat, he's been the most popular so far, but only one person has commented. So, yeah. He he's sort of like he's banished in the never so I'd have to use like neverac soul sands fire obsidian all that sort of stuff and I must never harm a chicken because that was the most that was the precious mob in the story if you remember and I have to build a massive fortress in the never what else 
and every time I destroy a tree, I have to s insult it loudly in garbled, incoherent turns speech. I don't know what that means, but yeah. And um, oh yeah, and after that, I would I would burn every forest I see and never harm any monsters at all. And then the fourth level, which is in upside and back down and backward text, that means I will have to achieve every block, well, every item in the game possible. And don't worry about these optional challenges, I'll get into this later, or not for a while. So, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this helps you make your mind up. I am Darth Trogo, and thanks for watching.